we're going. Here we go. <laughs> oh, and I marked it as full high definition. That'll be interesting. I might be lagging down the broadcast myself. Hi, everybody. <laughs> it's Deswood T-Mobile and... Susanna. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Susanna. How's it going, you guys? Welcome, welcome. And if you're watching it's on the replay, while. thanks so much for watching. On the we appreciate I know. It's been like two weeks. Yeah. Albert says, hey, guys. What's up? Hey, Albert. How's it going? Hey, uh, Enrico Berta has been waiting for a while. We're going to talk about, look at that. I see the, the wing right there. Yes. Yes. He's been on for a while. Uh, did you answer my question? Uh, G Sue's on. Hello, G Sue. What's up? What's up? So, guys, I see there's a handful of you so far. It's been a couple weeks. I didn't promote this on Twitter. I apologize. We have been very busy. It has been mm -hmm. what do we what do we call it, Susanna? Tech September. It's been it's, it's, it's been, it's been, been a September season. and October. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! And I feel like we have. Let's see. We did Wing was launched last week. We yeah. have announced Pixel 4a 5G. Presale is already happening. Um, and we have Wing on sale on Friday. And then we have some other special thing coming on Friday. Uh, mm. And then, gosh, we have some other special things right after the Thanksgiving holiday, too, don't we? Yeah, there's a bunch there of stuff is coming. So. So much going on. I see questions about promos. You got to check. You got to check tmobile.com for your promos. Uh, that's for sure. Um, I know the wing has been on promo. I, you know, I didn't even check today to see if it's still on promo. It's just been, we've been going crazy. Mm -hmm. um, but we wanted to talk about wing because wings thing right at the moment. Uh, later yes. in the week, we're going to have pixel 4a 5g live unboxing. Susanna, you're there in the office too, aren't you? I am. I'm here on campus. I'm literally the yeah, only it's person it's here. <laughs> over your shoulder. It's been so long since any of us have been there. I know. It's really, really cool, but I wanted to, some time and space to focus. <laughs> nice. All right. Sounds good. Sounds mm -hmm. good. All right. Let's see. Uh, I've got like, some we have folks people from, from everywhere. Chicago saying hi, California saying hi. Someone's from a place called Gimbal Mode. What is that? <laughs> I don't even know where that is. Oh, they're talking about the Okay, fine. I see Seattle, Washington came by. Crossroads Keeper. Crossroads? What? All right. Wow. All right. Cool. Ken Shaw's in the house, my buddy Ken. All right, let's see. How are 5G speeds in Seattle? I miss those LTE speeds near T-Mobile headquarters. I will tell you, uh, we've been out and about. Uh, that's a video mm -hmm. that's coming soonish. Uh, mm -hmm. I've been all around campus, which of course speeds are ridiculously good, but that's feel like that's cheating a little bit. That's campus speeds. Mm -hmm. So we went up to Marysville. We went to Oak Harbor. Marysville, we saw uh, almost 400 megabits per second download and 40 up, which is basically comparable to my Comcast gig uh, internet speeds. I see Burbank, California in the house. Uh, and, Chicago, and then in Oak okay. Harbor, I saw, <laughs> I saw 375. I wonder what they're getting in Chicago. You think they're getting 375 in Chicago? That would be nice. We should, we Nice, nice, us. nice. Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You guys post your speed tests and try to tell us if you think you're on mid band or low band. Low band, of course, will be a yes. little bit slower, better coverage. Mid band, a little faster, more in the urban centers. And then, of course, if you find some of that millimeter wave uh, or what some of our friends are calling ultra wide band and doing, you know, doing that kind of stuff, uh, you'll see some ridiculous speeds. Uh, New York C. Uh, and I will need a T phone looks phenomenal. All right. Let good, good, good segue. Let's <laughs> look at the phone. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it up right here. And the that is cam. the wing. Now demo cam is in business. We've even got extra <laughs> lights. You can see all the little lights bouncing off that guy. Uh, and this is the blue one, of course. And it's kind so of, pretty. it's this kind of iridescent Blue, green. There's a little yellow from the lights. There, yeah. All the lights are whitish color. Like, <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty good here. I'm going to make the demo big and me small. We'll do this because no one needs to see me looking off camera. There we go. I think the quality is okay. I feel like internet speeds today have been not necessarily the most awesome, but we're going to go with it. I'm going to try to not move too much. 
and flipping it back over. Now, Susanna, I know you were already ready with your favorite features. And I that's kind of what we're here to talk about. My phone too. Yes. <laughs> so, oh, there. All right. So tell me what's your first favorite feature? Like so if, there's if you want to demo really it on your about, phone. <laughs> Okay. Yes, if you want to demo it on yeah. your phone, because it won't look so great on mine. But one of my first favorite feature is the dual recording feature um, and the oh. camera. Okay. That is so <laughs> cool to me. I think it's just funny well, and like you can create so many cool things with it. And people are so amazed okay. by that. So I'm already getting all the g gimbal mode. Yeah, I don't want to do all yeah. this stuff. In case you don't know how it works. <laughs> Okay, fine. So here's gimbal mode there. I'll try to tilt it up so you can see it panning. How's that reading? Is that looking okay? And it's so smooth. Yes. This is done in software. This is not a moving lens. I think there are some questions about that. Yeah. Let's see. All right, cool. And then got it. Of course, there's lock mode, whereas I tilt the phone, it tries to stay locked on like that T-Mobile ripcord. Got yeah. it. Uh, reset button sets the gimbal back to square one. Got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. First person view. We've got pan follow, which is the little girl running through the yellow flowers, the fields. Very cool. And yes. then this follow mode, this, that phone is Whoa. not doing that. <laughs> Marketing. That is a, that has got to be, uh, the example has to be off of a drone. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> But I get your idea. You move the angle fly. horizontally and vertically. You can record your travels to view how I see it. I love it. Right. I love it. <laughs> Does it have wireless now, charging? Can, Somebody's asking real quick. Does it have wireless charging? All that. There I am. Okay. Look, there we so go. Dual recording. Demo, <laughs> demo cam, as always. Got the uh, got the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra with a, a light on top that's quite bright. Quite bright, but you can see it. Now, I yes. think, Susanna, this is a little uh, plug for you. If you guys go watch the T-Mobile Latino version of the LG Wing unboxing on YouTube.com slash T-Mobile Latino, all one word, you'll yes. see Susanna's dual recording, and it is awesome. She's in the office. She's looking at something. She's reacting on her face. That's like my favorite part. In fact, I'm going to tweet that later. I was waiting until your video was up. <laughs> It's pretty cool, that. and it's a, a couple of things to know that once you actually mm -hmm. finish the recording the video, you'll actually get two separate videos named one and two. So you'll get like the front facing view and the rear facing view. It doesn't give you a split screen view, so then you can mash them together if you want. But there you go, mm -hmm. and you can change the setting, or you can see the settings there. Change the settings as well. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing I like is you can do the split screen, or you can do little does picture in picture. Yeah. <laughs> There's a little bit of picture in picture or Desi Pretty in camera. Man. There we go. I get it. This is Howard Cosell, the wide world of sports. You, know, you guys are all too young for that. There <laughs> used to be a wide world of sports. Anyway, okay, so that's number one for you. What's number two? Number two is the battery life. And I mean, you can't see it, but it lasts so long that I mm -hmm. even forget to charge my phone. Like I don't ever think about having to charge my phone until I get the little notification that says, oh, I have 15% battery left, but <laughs> there you go. Yeah. It's loading. There you go. <laughs> but I, 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 hold I love it. how still... long it lasts. I typically charge it maybe once every one and a half to two days is how long it lasts okay. me. But that's because I'm right. not on my phone the entire time. Um, Ken is asking how big the battery is. It's a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. There you go. Nice. Nice. I see some people are saying they're waiting for the price to drop. Isn't it on BOGO right now? I think so there's some it, promos going on. You guys should go check them out. I, I wish I was more connected to retail than I am currently. We always <laughs> like set, we're done with phones the day they launch. We we have to turn our samples back in and then we're on to the next thing, getting ready for the next launch. I feel like we don't yeah. get to ever hear about cool promos. I'm There has been a BOGO. There are all kinds of cool trade-in things like that. I know that. Uh, I'm just and trying to read. You some never of the know. There might comments. be more promos for the holidays. Which side wireless charging, vertical or horizontal? I feel like this is a trick question, Mr. Egg. The back. <laughs> the back <laughs> side has wireless charging versus only, the front. Only uh, here. There must be more. <laughs> uh, but yeah, right back there. Right back. Right where my <laughs> greasy finger. Gross. Okay. 
So what is your third one? And then I'm going to give you a couple more. My last favorite thing is the swivel mode, which is just the cool factor of the phone. The fact that it, oops, let me bring it closer in. It swivels. Yes. It's such a cool mm -hmm. widget, but it's also very useful. I love that. I love that. There's like a, I posted a 60 second video of raindrops. I pretended like it was a calm commercial uh -huh. on my channel. I was just like, here's 60 seconds of me opening. <laughs> And it says so satisfying. It is so satisfying. That, that's that's a perfect segue. Another great segue, Suzanne. I'm going to talk awesome. about a couple of things. I'm going to talk about build quality. I love the build quality. So uh, I saw some comments, and I'm going to try to. Uh, it, does it come? Let's see if I can answer all of them. Uh, yes. How much does it cost? I think it's nine ninety right now without any promos. If you're just paying full retail price. Um, uh, da -da 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 -da. It is Someone not. Has. It's not quite flagship. Uh, the chipset is a 765G, so it's kind of the overclock 765. It's kind of like the gaming mode, is what they call that G, uh, which is a great chipset. It's in your Razer. It's in your Pixel 4A 5G coming later this week. What else is it in? It's, I feel like it's in a ton of stuff. Um, yeah. Off the top um, of my head, those are the people are the asking big ones. the two colors. There's a gray color, and I believe the technical name for the iridescent color you have is Illusion Sky. Illusion, Illusion Sky. Illusion okay, I'm Sky. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Illusion Sky. Now, Illusion Sky is not available in stores. I believe it's only off T-Mobile's webpage. Um, so don't find it for this one. Um, and then the dark grayish, like charcoal color one is the other one. Uh, a 71 five G, uh, might be the other phone. I think they're asking love my one plus AT. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> Let's see. Will this wow. get Google update? Yes. You will get the new Android yeah. update. Mm -hmm. They were hoping that it would get Microsoft updates, but it just wasn't in the cards. Uh, <laughs> Um, uh, what other T-Mobile will destroy Sprint? Actually, we merged with Sprint. They're our friends. We love those guys. Yeah. Uh, all, uh, <laughs> oh, look, Illusion Sky and Aurora Gray. That's one of there our wonderful members coming in with the perfect marketing names. Now, I started to talk about build quality. Uh, yes, I think it's very comfortable in hand. I think it's super comfortable in hand. It is a thicker phone, but it also gives you a lot to grab onto. A lot of people say that, you know, with the waterfall type edge type screens, the sides of the phone become too thin and they're harder to yeah. hold on to. Um, and this phone, because it's a little thicker to support that swivel hinge, it's got a nice uh, edge to grab onto. There's a good shot of it. Look at that. Wow, that looks then, nice. Up on top, that pop-up camera. So again, in build quality world, this is awesome. Uh, Fits seamlessly, no bump, no hump there of any kind. And of course, nothing on your screen. But when you launch your camera and then you spin it around, we'll get up nice and close here. Look at that cute little guy. Look at that. Up. <laughs> and then just as easy, it goes right back down. Oh, the wait. motor's got yep. this cool, cool little kind of bzz, bzz, little tiny thing. So you know it's working. And, and the other really cool thing is when you, if you, Accidentally drop your phone, heaven forbid, the um, accelerometer can feel the phone falling and that little camera says, good night, and it yep. hides itself. It'll be safe. Protects its <laughs> damage. Now, the other thing um, I like in the build quality. cases, real quick? Oh, yeah. I have one right here. I have one right here. I'll oh, grab awesome. it in just a second. I actually can demonstrate cases. So there's your cameras. I don't even know. See, I can't quite get in. Demo cam there. Doesn't, doesn't do macro mode justice. That's for sure. Uh, but it's got the three cameras, including 64 megapixel. And then uh, you're always great at specs these days, Susanna. We're talking a 13 megapixel ultra wide for the gimbal mode. Sounds the right. The standard yeah. camera, yes. The standard camera 64. Mm -hmm. And then the 13 megapixel ultra wide. Yes, perfect. Now I'm just trucking around the uh, the study here looking for the case. And there yes. it is, I got it. <laughs> so this is cool. So this is a Casemate case. And I'm just going to show you. 
what it looks like. So this is what our, from our friends at Casemate, make awesome cases. We love them. Nice. You can, see, you can see the blue tape in here. It's That's actually tape you would peel off, and there's a little bit of adhesive under there, a little bit of essentially you know, double stick, right? And you can see it's on the top, and it's on the two side rails. And what happens is you can see it's got kind of curved corners for the back side, and then it's got this nice grippy edge. Your phone goes right in like that. Now, I did not glue it, uh, but as you, you can actually still see the color of the tape there. Uh, nice. And then the phone, so you can see where the tape would be grabbing onto that chassis. And then look at this. Dun, 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 dun. Case is working great. Still super smooth, now, yeah. Uh, a couple of caveats about the case. The front corners of the phone are exposed. So yes. you got to go see Susanna and have her use some scotch tape and put a screen protector on for <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, get a screen protector you on your phone, please. You're definitely going to need a screen protector. I <laughs> can tell you that for sure. Um, and then, of course, you see the little um, hole there. And you guys, again, for you guys who are just joining in, the bluish color underneath the transparent case is where the double stick tape uh, cover piece is. So once you peel that blue tape off, it's yeah. just transparent. And you can see the gap for the pop-up front facing camera. You can see wow, the surround the area. The color still looks really great through the case. Oh yeah, this is a fan. So this case mate case, I apologize. I don't have the name of the case right in front of me. I just have the case. They sent it over and said, have Des play with this and see if he can break it. And all <laughs> I could do is get fingerprints on it. So we talked about build quality. The other thing I really want to talk about in terms of my favorite things, couple, mm -hmm. two things. So in the video mode, sound options, basic sound. Everybody's probably just going to use basic. ASMR Ooh, recording. ASMR, uh, that's neat. <laughs> I know it's a little gimmicky, but what it really sounds like is like when you're filming things up close and personal, like uh, pouring a cup of coffee or those kind of situational transitional moments that you might be making your next epic uh, movie with. Um, the ASMR mode really captures great sound, like things that are up close and kind of almost surround soundy, if you will, or ethereal, in another mm -hmm. way. Voice bokeh or voice bokeh, however you'd prefer to say it. <laughs> Fancy. I don't want to. I know. I don't want to. I don't want to irk anybody by saying it wrong. Um, which is, you know, essentially a focus, right? It reduces ambient noise, focuses right in on the people. There are versions of this on other devices. Um, and speaking that, of sound, um, someone's asking about the speakers. Ah, okay. What do they want to know? Do they have stereo speakers? Yes. There is yeah. a little tiny guy right here. And then, of course, a big guy down, down below. that end. Nice. Yep, exactly. Now, the other thing I was going to show you, again, I'm camera kid, uh, is manual video mode. And this is, I'm going to try to not get reflections on it. You can see... Customizing everything, customizing frame rate, customizing bit rate, uh, resolution, ISO, shutter, focus. Now, this is cool. You can actually record. I don't know if this is going to come through. So I'm a little bit out of focus. Hopefully, you guys uh -huh. can see that. It has focus peaking. And you Ooh. can see. Oh, it might not give me focus peaking when I'm actually recording in real time. Uh, but you can see. You can bring it into focus. Does it look in focus on the demo? It does it's look focus focused, actually. Yeah, it definitely looks focused. Mm -hmm. And then you can go, you can go out of focus. So you could actually do some really cool artistic manual mode. You're off in the distance that you know, and you close in on your subject. You get some really good videos out of that. Yeah. Right. Really cool. Really cool. And then of course, crazy different white balance options. Uh, sound options here. You can see, you can ingest gain. There's the wind noise filter. I don't know if that's coming through. You can see it right there. Yes. There it is. You wind can barely filter. see it, but yes. <laughs> Perfect. Very, very and cool. And I will say this. I was I was recording a couple of videos with the phone, and they're super mm -hmm. smooth, super steady videos. So I, I, oh, I really like that, that about the camera. Yep. That is in here too. In fact, let me go back. That's just in the even the regular mode, which I feel like right. there's a lot of good camera modes lately that are doing that, right? Uh, and so you can get into your settings. And I saw it somewhere. Maybe I just went right past it. 
uh, live photo tracking focus voice shutter oh yeah of course the NOTs and all that kind of stuff um, I lost my steady there's your noise there it is Duh. right in front of me super steady there you go. super steady. steady yep on or off right uh, and tons of fun, tons of fun. And filters real time live right there. So there yeah, it is. Yeah, Benito gonna... said it was great for gaming too. <laughs> uh, yes, fantastic. A huge screen, right? I mean, really nice. Let's see yes. if that'll stand there. Nice little product shot for us. Okay, <laughs> anything else? This is perfect for YouTube. Yes, absolutely true. So William Armstrong, especially the dual record feature, right? You're a, you're a vlogger. Nice, nice, Definitely. nice. Any any other questions we can answer? We've been yammering at you guys for about 20 minutes. I feel like we should let you I go. I was to ask what my, what my favorite thing about the phone is. Well, I gave my top three. It's dual recording, the battery life, mm -hmm. and the swivel mode. <laughs> swivel mode. Now, a lot of people are like, what are the use cases for swivel mode? There, look at that. That's nice. I like that. We're going to leave that right there. I personally think my favorite is watching a movie and messaging or tweeting at the same time. A friend yeah. of mine, uh, Brandon from comicbook.com, shout out to Brandon. Uh, he was doing quarantine watch parties with the Marvel Cinematic Universe through comicbook.com. And I was saying, this is the this is the phone for your quarantine watch party. So whether you're watching <laughs> sports, uh, YouTube TV, T-Vision, right? Whatever you're watching on the top screen, your multitasking is maybe you're trash talking. I know Susanna likes the Raiders which none I of do. the rest of the folks. <laughs> hey, uh, this weekend we have a big game, so go Raiders. <laughs> I can imagine watching the Raiders lose in swivel mode and texting her friends. Not going to happen. Uh, <laughs> that still have a chance. Uh, I do um, see is a it question. water resistant? Uh, it's also great for... No, not absolutely not. The hinge is no. well-made, quality, quality yeah. design, but of course there's openings, so no. Uh, let's see. TV, T vision is the best. Love it. What would you say the advantages <laughs> and disadvantages of the wings are compared to dual screen velvet? Great question. Uh, and David, David Nielsen, uh, that's actually not only dual screen velvet, but V60 thank you. That was one of the questions earlier. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think it's, uh, a couple of things. The dual screen environment makes whatever you're working on bigger, theoretically. Uh, in the cases of like Google Maps and things like that, you can go watch our video on the V60 Thank yeah. You. We did a couple examples there. Whereas the wing is kind of a, a main focus and a side focus, a little multitask, so a little message on the side mm -hmm. or a little map on the side. It's got a kind of a second screen, if you will, rather than uh, a fold type screen, which is, I guess, you could say that that dual screen is multitasking too, but they're both big screens. This one has kind of a secondary, smaller, little sidekick, little buddy screen to help you out, right? Right. Uh, so interesting looking phone. Can't wait to get your hands on one, Josh. I hear you, man. Uh, it's just tons <laughs> of fun too. It's fidget factor through the roof. So tons and tons of phone. Is this phone waterproof? We answer that. The answer no, is no. But you know, no water. You know what I do? I do want everybody to do one thing. We got about uh, a little over 100 folks watching right now. You can watch on the replay. <laughs> Go ahead, back over to T-Mobile, uh, so youtube.com slash T-Mobile. Find our LG Wing unboxing video. Drop a comment below. Tell us what you might use a wing for. Maybe I'll peruse the comments a little later tonight or tomorrow. Let's you say tomorrow. never know. Yeah, we have a I'm couple not, people uh, wanting. I might surprise someone with the wing. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. You I never know. Right here. How's that sound, Susanna? I think yeah. that's great. And you know what? I'm going to say that in Spanish because we've had a couple people comment in Spanish. So I want to let them know too. I don't want them to miss out. So, no para problem. la gente que habla español, <laughs> um, vayan a T-Mobile uh, Latino, nuestro canal de YouTube. Dejen su comentario abajo y tal vez puedan ganarse un, un wing. <laughs> there we go. Just I have to let them know. So it could be fair. Awesome. Awesome. Perfect. Sounds good. Everybody have a safe and happy Thanksgiving. Be sure to Zoom or chat with friends and loved ones and relatives or your neighbors, whatever, but stay safe, stay socially distant, wear a mask. Thanks so much for watching. Talk Thanks to you guys everyone. Later. Bye. Bye.